ball back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. Hey, alert, 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 alert. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first down, Edmonds. And a short gain down to about the 33. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Check, check, check. Jack 45, 45, Mike, 45, Smith, I'm coming after you, check 45 to Mike, check 45 to Mike, drop the other, now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger, escaping the pressure right, they'll get the first down and more inside the 20, and this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 15 yard line. Big Ben with his size, sometimes it still surprises me when he can dance for a first. He's the preeminent quarterback at taking contact, shedding it, and turning it into a big play. You know what they say about him. It's not the first three seconds of the play that you're worried about with him. It's the next three. Takes the hit, and now he creates a big one. Jim, 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 Take both of them. Check three, check three, check three. Undercross, undercross, black and They'll run on first down. Edmonds. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. At the 17 yard line. Try to get one Let more in here before the quarter breaks. Go. Go. Check nine, check nine. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. it to Smith Schuster. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Sets up a first and goal. Let's go, D. Quarter, quarter. 
They'll try to run to Edmonds. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. But now it's third and goal. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. They'll come out in the pistol. This Tampa Bay defense, they held strong on the first two plays. Now third and goal. Hey, Charlie! Hey, let's get that ball here. Let's get that ball right here. Mike's 5 4. Mike's 5 4. Mike's 5 4. 4 4. 22, 44. Let's go. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Buying time to his left. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Roosevelt Knicks there to make the grab. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now 14 to nothing. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw is Winston. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call. Hey, hey, 50, 50 to Mike, 50 to Mike. Let's go, D. Let's go. Oh, oh. From the gun, Winston. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. 
But it's now fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Eight yards to tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. I got you. I got you. Eight, 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 eight. Eight. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Now let's see the box with six DB, so a dime set here on third down. Mike 5-4, Mike 5-4, Mike 5-4. Here we go, D, get off the field. Hey, high seven. 50. They snap it at one. Now it's Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Zach, you 30. Right there, 54 Mike. Hey, keep it up, keep it up. On first down, Edmonds, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They run with Edmonds. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The Steelers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Johnson's got it complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Edmonds. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Time in a little less than two minutes. We'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. From the 31, Roethlisberger. He finds his man Johnson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Call it a loss of two on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Mike 54. We ain't giving up. 
I'm not going to work. Hey, Wahoo! 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, 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 check. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. But it's Brian by Washington. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation in there. The defense won the battle. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's a give to Evans running to the right. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Blue down, blue down. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Check, check, check. Hey, hey, Will. Mike 54, Mike 54. Watch the out, watch the out. No foul. Right there, 54, right there, right there. <laughs> From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And it's now 21 to nothing. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Now Winston. This one complete to Scott Miller. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Five on the 50. Five on the 50. Five on the 50. Got a skate situation. Let's get on the truck. My 50, my 50. Check tight, check tight. Check tight. 50 is the mic. 50 is the mic. Watch QB Joe. Green, come with me. Let's go, my 50. My 50. Now Winston. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. seconds to go in half number one. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. and it brings up fourth down. Looks like another empty possession here, partner, and I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. they got to find some answers quickly. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Ready? Lock 80! Stop your whining. Shit, shit, shit. Check four, check four. Alert, alert. Jack 16. Black, black. They'll run to Edmonds again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. It's now third and nine. Go, so a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. 77, 77. Hey, box truck, box truck. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll hey, fall hey, incomplete. Hey. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. 
This is taken at about the 14. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here we go, here we go. Throw him, Winston. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. up there and it'll be second down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Ready. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They go play action. Winston. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked the ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action now. Winston. Open man has got it. It's complete. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Winston to Godwin on the connection there for a Tampa Bay first. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. Here's Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. Joe Hayden, the veteran with a pick. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come-from-behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't Madden predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe they predicted. I felt like most of the predictions I saw had the game in the 30s. So a little bit lower scoring than we expected. But a lot of fireworks down the stretch all by Kansas City. But how about San Francisco? Had the lead in the ball, under 12 minutes to go. And held Kansas City to 10 points through three quarters. And somehow, they're winging their way back to San Francisco. I'm trying to understand how they lost that game. Yeah, not only did Kansas City win it, but they end up winning it by 11 points. They didn't see that coming at all. 
for the day. Back-to-back -back back good 20. plays have him on the move on first down. Snickers got to spin. Mike 54. Let's go. 54 is Mike. 54. Hey, Alpha. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Watch, watch, watch. Now Roethlisberger. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Devin White, the rookie out of LSU, there to bat that one away. And that's when he's got to be happy to have that. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. I got one. Here's Edmonds. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 25. You go up, Watch the run. Watch the run. Check the backer. Check the backer. One day. Eight, 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 eight. Well, another carry now for Edmonds. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. 50. X3, 218, top. You better bring it. You better bring it. I'm letting you know right now, you better break. Easy, easy. 50. Mike, 45. Hey, watch the slant. 45 to Mike. 45 to Mike. Y'all not ready. <laughs> They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith Schuster. It's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Roethlisberger now, 11 to 15 through the Watch air. The Here's first and 10. Check, 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 check. A little alert. No, no, no. Off, off, off. Flash Here's Edmonds. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it is 28-0. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together all their positions and coming together as a group. 
going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Field and inside the 45. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Jones, here's first and ten. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Looking downfield for Gut. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Joe Hayden, the veteran with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Again, they run with Edmonds. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and four. On third down, they run with Edmonds. And he will get the first down as he's up to the 20-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Ready? Black 20? Check 45 to Mike. I'm coming. First carry for James Conner. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. 
Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On first down, Edmonds. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Check 16. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming. They'll keep it on the ground. Edmonds. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A gain of 10. Good for a Steeler first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On first and ten is Connor. It's another ten yards on that one and another first down. But I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Let's go, D, tighten up. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Mike, Mike 20. Mike 5 4. Get that quarterback, D line. Get 44. D line. D line, get that quarterback. Watch twist. Watch twist. They'll run on first down. It's Connor. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Got a yard. Here's second and nine. Hey man, hey man. Watch the boot. Watch the boot. Check 50. Check 50. Check 24. Check 24. They'll run with Edmonds. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Steelers on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This will be third and five. Check 31. Check 31. Alert, alert. They'll keep it on the ground. Edmonds. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Ready! 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Green, come with me. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Watch the curve, watch the curve. Go, go. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Come on, D. Let's go, Mike 50, Mike 50. Not the game. Go. Throwing on second and long. Winston looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Why, why, why? Get why. Check 52. On first and 10, Winston. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. on second and ten. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. 23 yards to pick up there. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Slam, slam, slam. Five on a 50. Five on a 50. Five on a 50. Check. 55 to Mike. Check. 55 to Mike. Jameis again. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. They start with a give to Connor. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead, first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. They're running it. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. A loss of the yard on the play. It's now third down and four. Black, black 20. Mike, 45. Wild Bill, Wild Bill. Oh. 
So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.